Question number 7. Two forces act on an object in different directions. We do not know what are the directions over here. Okay. The magnitudes of the forces are 80 Newton and 27 Newton. So let me consider this as F1 and this is F2. Okay. The mass of the object is 9 kg. It's also given. What is a possible value for the acceleration of the object? Now from the question, it is clear the forces can either act like this. The forces can act like this. The forces can act like this. Okay. It can act anywhere. But if you know, if I ask about when two forces are acting, what do you, what can you find? You can find the resultant force. How, where does he, what is the value of the resultant force? It depends only on what is the alignment of these forces. So how do I determine? I cannot determine here. But we can always say the resultant force can lie between two boundaries. What are the boundaries over here? The boundaries are the maximum force could be F max could be F1 plus F2 if they are in the same direction. But it should be minimum should be F1 minus F2 or F1 mi F2 minus F1. Any one of them is correct over here. Okay, so towards it. Now let us find what is F1 minus F2. F1 minus F2 should be 21 minus 18 or 18 minus 27. Any one. So this should be 9 Newton. Okay. So and then this should be F, resu F resultant. It should be less than 18 plus 27. How much is it? It should be uh, 45, 40, uh, sorry, 18 plus 27. So for, it should be 45 Newton. 45 Newton. So resultant force should lie between 9 Newton and 45 Newton. Okay. Now what is he asking? Not resultant. Acceleration. Okay, so what do I need? I need to find acceleration, which should be, if I divide this by mass, I get acceleration, which should be 9 here, divide by 9 here. So your acceleration should be 1a less than 5. It should lie between 1 meter per second square and 5 meter per second square. So which of them could lie here? What is, what is the possible value for the acceleration of the object? That's a question over here. So 1, so therefore 0 is not, not possible. It doesn't lie in this interval. 0.5, not possible. 2 will lie in this interval, C is the right answer, D 6, it's also not, doesn't lie in this interval, so this is also incorrect, okay. So the answer for 7 is C.